<laughs> Welcome, uh, Harry Redknapp, on a mission to get you England legends fit again. Yeah. Were you particularly unfit, John? I was, and I still am, because unfortunately I wasn't able to... I had to become Harry's assistant, because a week before I was uh, due to be joining my esteemed <laughs> colleagues, I ruptured my patella tendon on my <laughs> shoulder. So, and I was really looking forward to getting fit, losing weight. I needed an incentive because I've got no willpower. So I became Harry's assistant. So <laughs> I am probably still the same, but David and the lads did really well. So you lost a stone, David, right? Yeah, just under a stone, yeah. So it, it does work. When you leave professional sport and you're every day training, 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 and you're super fit and everything else, yeah. how hard is it to then come into the real world where <clears> you don't have that reason to get out of bed, you don't have the impetus to train, perhaps? Well, from my point of view, I always at uh, And, of course, when... We're similar ages in the 80s. You didn't have the dietitians and the nutritionists. Eating is the main, the, the main thing if you want to lose weight. And, of course, doing a little bit of exercise, which I didn't do. David, you do regular exercise, yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we still skate. Me and my wife, Frankie, we, we go out there mm. every week. Because um, you met on the Dancing on Ice Yeah, tour. that's right, yeah. And then, we, you know, I'd go bike riding and stuff like that. So mm. I enjoy the exercise. But like John says, you know, it's, it, once, you, once you finish uh, football... If you carry on eating the same, you're going to put weight on. See, I'm then... worried about your weight loss, because I think it's addling your brain. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Come on, then, what you got? <laughs> because you have recently said you want Tottenham to yeah. win the Champions League. And as, a, right. as an Arsenal season ticket holder, okay. I genuinely thought you'd lost your marbles, Mr Seaman. <laughs> Explain yourself. The question was put to me, would you want Tottenham to win the champion, uh, Champions League if they were playing foreign opposition? And mm. I said yes. But even that is unacceptable. It's not. Huh? No. I would. I still want. I don't normally. I don't normally. I don't normally. I don't think I've ever agreed with Piers Morgan, but on this one I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so you, do. you wouldn't want Everton to win. <laughs> no <laughs> chance. <laughs> no chance. Well, the world is divided between Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah. Who do so, you think? I, well, I, I like Messi, but so that is why the, it, it's not so much cheering Messi that they prefer Messi to Ronaldo, and that's how. Yeah. See, I'm a friend. Cristiano Ronaldo guy. I I'm think he's. I'm the, Ronaldo. As well. I think he's a big dog. Yeah. Big dog. And when it really matters and the really big stuff, he delivers. Messi, yeah. I not just so think, much. I think they're similar. Both equally as good as each other, but I prefer Messi only because I think he's, he's humbler, he plays more for the team, he yeah. respects his teammates, the Catalan culture, mm. whereas Ronaldo, for me, is about Ronaldo. We could have done with any of them on our team, couldn't we? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You could have done with a few of them in that 1989 <laughs> Liverpool team when uh, no, I mean, Arsenal Harry's won the league. No, we needed, <laughs> no, we needed better defenders. <laughs> David, your coach is Harry Redknapp, yes. of course, and he has some surprising opposition for you, doesn't yeah. he? Because he, he wants to get you fit so you can beat the to Germans. Try and play one more game against the Germans yeah. and hopefully get the right result. Mm. I was interviewing Harry for my Life Story show yesterday. Extraordinary life and character he's had. John, can't let you go. We, we've locked on a few times on Twitter about various issues. The one thing I just wanted to talk to you about, and I have a huge respect for a lot of what you've been saying. It's, it's, it's not that. On knife crime, I had a great interview with Carla earlier about mm -hmm. knife crime in London which really resonated with me, I think, with a lot of, lot of viewers. Are we, as middle-class white people, simply getting this wrong? Uh, it's nothing to do with being middle-class white people. It's to do with the narrative that it is a black problem, because when it was in Glasgow, and it was more than 90% white on white, it was never perceived... The narrative was never white kids killing white kids. It was a socio-economic problem, mm -hmm. and the same in, in Manchester or wherever it happens. So in London, it's exactly the same thing. So, of course, now that the, it is black kids killing black kids, but it was never the narrative. When it was white kids killing white kids. And a big problem I have with it is when... If John Barnes, for example, and Idris Elba, and we're all well-meaning in mm. going on Twitter to say we've got to stop killing each other, but that supports the narrative that it's black-on-black -black crime. So when Idris Elba goes on his Snapchat, and, of course, they're well-meaning, and says, oh, we've got to stop killing each other, that supports that narrative that it's black-on-black -black crime, which, which it isn't. What would it's you say to any problem. kid, black or white, carrying a knife on the streets right now? Well, first of all, the message I would give would be to... The, the government, yeah. to the agencies who are involved. Because how can John Barnes, who lives in a lovely little village, say to black kids, oh, stop killing each other? Mm. They'll say, come and live where I live, see what I, I'm mm. going through. See, I've got no opportunities educationally, socially, vocationally, and then tell me about what I should be doing. So, yes, of course, you'll say the right things. I'm a father about not carrying knives. But the real problem is the environment that they're actually in. Well said, John. Uh, it's an important debate. We'll keep having it. Great to see you both. Two England yeah. legends. Brought us huge pleasure. John brought me huge pleasure in 1989 at Anfield when... Uh, you lot choked against Arsenal, we won the league. Uh, Tony Adams. Uh, <laughs> Harry's Heroes, the full English is on ITV tonight at nine o'clock.